So who we are, my name's Charlie, and I work for the FBI, but I'm just a contractor, I'm not a Fed. And I run an open source project called Pack Protector, and I'm an anonymous speaker. I don't know, I don't even know who he is. <laughs> so we, we happened to find this in the uh, valet area this morning, and we couldn't resist. I guess we should set that up. Okay. So the doors are being locked from the outside, so you have to listen to this fucking sales pitch. Um, Packer Protector is uh, a security distribution for wireless routers. It's like IP Cop or Astaro or Untangle, but it runs on hardware like this. And if you stick around to the end, we'll be giving away a router. So 20 minutes, we'll be giving away a router. And so you can do, it runs free radius, so you can do WPA Enterprise. It runs snort and inline queue mode, so you have an IPS. And it runs a transparent web proxy that's plugged into Clam, Clam AV, so you can do web antivirus. All on an $80 box. That didn't last forever. Oh, sorry about that, guys. All right, so what's the point of this? This is just for fun. The, uh, the idea comes, there was years ago, a thing called the Upside Down Internet, about a guy saw that people were stealing his internet access, so he set up a squid proxy and uh, a URL rewrite script to flip all the images upside down. So, um, yeah, it's, it's just for fun, so don't expect like some sort of metamorphic shell code, you know, that sort of thing. But your friends at home won't understand any of that leech shit, but if you can like make boobs appear on CNN.com, they'll think you're a fucking black hat god. So <laughs> this, is the, this is the presentation you want to be at. Now to Anonymous. All right, so quick uh, conceptual overview. You got your victim. We've got a proxy. We're using squid. And basically, we're going to use the URL rewriting feature of squid to play with the victim. So we'll do a quick little demo here. Someone give me a nice little URL or website you guys visit frequently. Oh, well. <laughs> it's supposed to take something good and make it lame, not take something lame and make it lame slash less. That. Slash that. We'll get to slash that later. All right. Uh, we this one. Yeah. Alright, so AOL, it's horrible, but we'll go there. I haven't even been there in a while. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, wait, technical difficulties. Where's the sound, dude? Where's the sound? I don't know. That's an improvement for AOL. Yeah. It's the improved AOL like, version 27. All right. Stop this as quick as we can. So now you're going to show the code, right? Yeah. So here's a quick view of the code. Um, can anyone in here actually read Perl? Because like, it's, like, it's hard to read. But anyways, this is it. We take the, uh, the URL. You know, we see the regular expressions in there, matching for YouTube. and. Uh, we pretty much give up brick roll for this. All right. Demo number two. Demo number two, which is. Oh yeah. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're using IP tables to put in DNAT rules, uh, pre-routing to uh, transparently uh, change where the traffic is going. So. All right, we're going to Google something. Can someone give me something to Google? 
That is excellent. I know, I know children like Teletubbies. Teletubbies. Is the spelling correct on Teletubbies? There's two, two B's in the Tubbies. Okay. This is important. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, what else should we do? Uh, my reasoning on all this. The Jonas Brothers. The Jonas Brothers. Okay. What? Okay. So the interesting thing here is that it seems that this this uh, this really gross phrase that keeps getting appended onto our search query is overpowering whatever we search for. So I want to ask you guys if you think you can come with a phrase that will overpower the, uh, the appended phrase to search for. What's that? Cephalopod. What, do you got some, some freaking squid lovers in here? OK, cephalopod. You're going to have to help me here. You know what? Google knows better. Cephalophone, did I mean? No. OK. <laughs> <laughs> so, fellow pod. <laughs> I'm, okay, so, yeah, I don't think we can do it. What's something? What's really popular right now? Michael Jackson. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You search for that. Ah, oh, dude. All right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Dude. No, you did it. That worked. Oh, uh, yeah, Michael Jackson did come up on that one, so that's pretty good. So, all right, we got one. All right, so yeah, simple, simple manipulation here, so. Oh. Um. Here's the code. Again, pretty, pretty simple. We have this regular expression on, like, one of my laser pointer is broken. Um, <laughs> But you can see it in there if you look for the new URL uh, line. So. Okay. <laughs> Go back to the presentation. You've got one more. I've, I've got one more. Okay. Um, okay, and this is the other setup that we have that's most similar to the upside down turnet. Um, whereas here we have a local web server running on the box, and we use Squid to intercept it and for example, like all the images, JPEGs, PNGs, and GIFs will uh, um, basically download, you know, dub get those, download them locally, and use image magic to manipulate them, and uh, then serve them up through our web server locally. But this is all transparent. And the next one is time machine. Yeah. All right. Okay, like recently, a lot of our favorite people in the security industry have been attacked. Um, but from our perspective, like they're okay. Like they don't, like, I mean, their site never was down for us. Like you just go back into time and we have all their things archived. So you need to notice the dates on this. Yet yeah, another year, yet yeah, another DEF CON. This is from 2005. This is the time machine. Uh, do you want to explain the, what, do you want to explain the web archive deal there? When we get to the code. When you get to the code. Okay. So, yeah, his, his site was never down. Um. Same thing, these guys are back up. Alright, and show the code here. 
So here's the, uh, the source for the Time Machine Perl script. And again, I can't read this, but you guys can. Um, so we're essentially redirecting to web.archive.org. Uh, um, so you pretty much can browse the web in the past. A uh, little bit of a prank there. And that's code back to non anonymous. Non anonymous. Okay. You know. This is all him, by the way. The reason he's anonymous is because he didn't want to be associated with his train wreck. So <laughs> give him hell. All right. So who knows who invented the internet? <laughs> sort of. But so DARPA invented the internet so that all Americans could have free pornography in their houses. And then along came education and e-commerce and social networking and polluted the whole pool of porn that was out there for all of us. So we're going to make things right again. Okay. So if we went to one of these time wasting sites. <laughs> All right. Now we have to wait. So so there. So just to show that it works. Okay, so somebody yell a site. <laughs> that may already be categorized as pornography. <laughs> it did work. Oh, oh, PBS. Okay, and interestingly, we couldn't use Google here because of some lame shit they do to the hrefs that are on the results page aren't actually hrefs. There's JavaScript that overtakes those and sends you to a redirect page. So the redirect pages aren't sufficiently pornographic to, to meet our standards. <laughs> but Microsoft is playing along. It gives us nice and pornographic direct links. OK. So if you want to see how this works now, so Dan's Guardian is a great open source content filter. But what we want to do is essentially reverse the logic. So <laughs> at the bottom, it's as simple as just saying if the weighted phrase is greater than or less than. So we just flip that around. And we had to make some, we had to make a little bit more changes so we can allow the style sheets and the JavaScript from the porn sites, which aren't explicit themselves, to come through. So your porn is unaffected, but all the rest of the shit is filtered out. Okay. We have three left. Oh shit! Yeah, hurry up. All right, hurry up. So I can't explain this one because we're running behind. We weren't. Ex uh, we're anticipating this. So we, we were on this one. So we're on two. All right. I can't explain this one. You'll see in a second. What's it gonna be? Oh, yeah. What, what you got there? No, just, just, this, is, this is taking a long time, so talk amongst yourselves. Yeah. Just, just, uh, Here's a subject. Why is my server so fucking slow? Oh, shit. Think of some of your favorite security professionals. Load in two minutes. It'll load in two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Refresh it so maybe we get like some other ones. 
So we're going to take a detour and show you the code real quick, because what's supposed to happen is there's George Carlin's Seven Dirty Words, and we download the image, whether it's a PNG or GIF or JPEG. We create another image that's the same size using a randomly selected dirty word. We layer them on top of each other in an animated GIF, and we serve that back up. So he's still a motherfucker. We refresh it, and he's still a motherfucker. So this one will take forever because DEF CON is polluted with images, but you'll get the, the spice of life. So we're going to press on. We'll come back to DEF CON because Oh, yeah. We're not that organized, sorry. So that was called the Tourette net, adding swears everywhere. All right, so my minions in the audience are supposed to be helping me, so bear with them, because I can tell he's not done. So here's the full menagerie of swear words on the DEF CON site. We're still missing one. Uninformed is another place to go. We should have done this first because it's much faster, but you can see the menagerie of swears. Okay, so. Let me take that out. I know you're all enjoying that. I'm sorry. So the general idea is to get your ideas and implement, because there's, there's a lot of stuff you can do, a lot of fun you could have. Get your ideas. We throw them up on this proxy, like in a modular, all, all modular-like. And uh, you have a one-stop, you know, prank -o so you can do all this stuff at any time. Because no one wants to really, like, oh, I want to... I want to Put on a prank. I'm going to code this proxy stuff. It's already done for you. Here it is. Yes, and in the minute, the site will be updated with uh, the code that we just presented. Thank you. All right, so we don't have much time left, but we know you guys have better ideas than we do, and we want to give away the router. So yell out some ideas. Come on, motherfuckers. I told you. No ideas. No ideas? The subtle fuck you. I like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> A random number in the phone directory? <laughs> Askify yeah. all the images. That's, That's cool. fucking sweet. <laughs> Bandwidth would go out the roof. All right, I think we have a winner unless somebody has something better. Come on. Have you guys seen, what's that thing, that the Perl script that like uh, transmutates the words where it's still readable because our brain processes the words like oh, a word yeah. at a time, right? There you go. You could do that. You win. No. No. Dial-up speeds. Well, you saw that already. My server is that fucking slow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's pretty sweet. That, random Gmail searches? Oh. Do randomly throw it out yes. there. Like, whoever catches the box, we'll just, is it empty or is it in there? No, it's, that's it. I think. Hey, we can't recommend that. We, I think we have a winner. I'm sorry, we're running short on time. The, uh, I think. Oh yeah. So who's the winner? The bank man? The bank man? Yeah. yeah? The, the ASCII images? The bank man wins. All right. Props to the guy who came up with the upside down internet. The DEF CON staff, they rock. Squid is awesome. And the entire open source community. And thank you all. Thanks, guys.